yes, you will go to heaven. But you will go to heaven in a Lazarus style. You will be very poor in this world. What is that? We have told you, come, let's teach you Bible. You are refusing. Ignorance will continue to disgrace you. Where did the Bible ever say, Lazarus pay tight? There's no such account. Oh, so the rich man did he pay tight? There's no tithing in that scripture. All that scripture is talking about is justification by faith. The rich man did not believe the gospel, he was in hell. Lazarus believed the gospel, he was in the bosom. Bosom doesn't mean a bad place, bosom means call pause. That is, they saw Lazarus and Abraham together. It's not a bad thing, that is actually the height of righteousness. The bosom of Abraham, the call pause. That means Abraham and Lazarus were in the same state. No one was superior, no one was inferior. Call pause. The bosom of Abraham. Just like Jesus is in the bosom of the Father. How do you read? I even heard somebody say that when you go to heaven, you will still pay tight. Ele, ele. So, what job will we do in heaven? He was so interested after he debunked what the redeemed pastor said that the was just listening to what the Dr. Ebedamina was saying. I heard somebody said that um, ten percent tight is entry level. <laughs> that is for beginners. The real tight is 30 40 percent. Does he understand the word tight? Once it's more than ten percent, it's no more tight. Tight means tent. Leave that side. Anything above ten percent is no more tight. Anything under ten percent is not tight. It is tight because it is tent. If it's not tent, it's not tight. We are teaching generosity. They say we are our mouth is smelling. Now they have joined us to teach generosity and they are calling it tight. Anyhow you put it, it can never be correct until it is well defined. Tight is 10%. There's no entry level. No introductory. Once it is tight, it is 10%. No kindergarten, no adult class. All of them are classified in one class. Under the law, no graduation, no admission. All of you are members of the same class. So as long as it is tight, it is 10. Once it's 10.1, it's no more tight. It has moved to giving. So remove the title tight. Free the people to give. Free them. Free If I'm teaching somebody, shout, I hear, I hear you. Go back, go back to Hebrews. <laughs> Free the people. Jesus paid for them. Free them. Let them say. Now, if you watch now, you understand that Epidemina teaching now is making sense. It's not like before that he would just come out to come and debunk a man of God. But this one, he went direct to what those two men of God have mentioned which is if you have been reading your Bible very well you will understand that what those men of God were saying was not all that correct and it's not even in the Bible to start with when you talk about the issue of tithe you talk about 10% of paying once you have paid more than 10% it's not it's not tight again it should be either you are giving to the church but so far is 10 percent is the issue of that now I talk about the lazarus and the rich man in abraham bosom now if you watch ebedamina went further to explain it step by step to tell that prophet miracle was seen a different thing entirely now the question here is that is two is these three men of god are they men of god they should be men of God. But the possibility is that there are people that comprehend and understand the scripture very well. And there are people and there are, and there is some people that will not understand the scripture very well. Now, in my own suggestion, I only think that what 
the prophet miracle is, is able of doing is to prophesy because prophecy is what i believe he know how to do very well and he should concentrate on it and forget the issue of this tight of a thing now if you look among all of them you understand that ebedamina have become the father of feet in debunking so many men of god i'm not saying that ebedamina is not all that good ebedamina is very good in doing that now if you watch our daddy Jiho, what our daddy Jiho was saying and what he mentioned even in my previous video i posted it we did with this one again you understand that the man was like looking for a way to clarify himself based on what his children in his children have said to him now he was trying to make sure that he's still in the right track but that should not be being in the right track and saying things that are not in the bible because i just believe as a christian the only tools we had or we have is the scripture and is the bible now for you to come out and say you want to challenge a bit you need to be very strong not even spirit not not even spiritual you need to know the bible you need to know the scripture very well before you come out to come and make your own reference because if you don't know it you are only not just killing yourself but you are equally wasting your time because Ebedamina is being groomed very well in the scriptures and he knows the scripture very well and very very well so if you're coming out to come and say one or two things against the man of god you should be prepared very well so you will not come and insult yourself